Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for an absolutely astonishing car. Uh, this is a Toyota Alphard, I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's a 3.5 litre. It's a very high spec one, and here comes a bit of honesty. I know nothing about them, absolutely nothing. The car came in as a pilot exchange to us. All I know is it's doing a bit of research. It is very highly equipped. The car's covered just 50,000 miles from you and is in incredible condition, and I mean that. Um, finished in white, the lovely beige leather interior. It's massively specified. It's got cameras everywhere, full leather interior, the recliner seats, twin sunroofs, you name it, it's got it. It's uh, just uh, amazing. As I said, the condition for what is a, oh, I don't know, 14 year old car, beggar's belief really. Uh, front of the car, lovely and clean. Uh, the lights and lenses are clear and intact. Um, bonnet of the car, very, very clean and tidy. The panel work is astonishing. Now, that's a big slab of a panel down there and I can't see any indentations whatsoever. So it's just starting to rain, which is a pain in the neck, but there we go. Um, that is incredibly clean. I just can't believe there'd be a cleaner one anywhere. Coming to back again, immaculately clean. I mean, just unbelievable. So I'm going a bit quicker than normal just because it's literally been dry for the last hour. Just decided it wants to rain. And then this side as well. I mean, it's all but unmarked. I'm sure there will be a mark, but I simply can't see one. Uh, even the alloys are absolutely beautiful. Externally, I mean, it really is in absolutely glorious condition. So coming to the back of the car, as you can see there, you've got this enormous area. The seat's folded up in position there. But the condition, as I said, you know, it has to be seen to be believed. And this is how it came to us. It's not been cleaned, prepared, anything. It is, as I said, remarkable. It's coming to the side. Sorry, it's just a car cleaned by. Inside, you've got these just incredible seats. The kids sat in here yesterday and they couldn't believe it. Um, they recline. Sort of lazy seat style, they fold up electrically, they pop down so you can sit with your legs up. There is no more comfortable way to sit in the back of any car that I've ever experienced. And again, the condition is simply astonishing. It really, really is. Let's come to the front and the passenger side. Again, you get the same style seat. The front passenger side, obviously electrically adjusted on the side there. Again, leather work is truly remarkable. Coming on the passenger side on this side as well. Show it all functioning. Again. Finally coming to the front now. It actually has a set of tailored mats to go over the top of the original mats to protect them and it's been kept beautifully. Uh, driver's seat itself, again, in absolutely stunning condition. So we're inside the car now, engine's running, so the dash can be seen illuminated. Uh, I mean, the dashboard just looks almost like new, and incredibly clean. Sat-nav is the Japanese sat-nav. Oh, she's, she's so sweet, <laughs> so polite. I had to keep it for that reason alone. Uh, I do believe you can um, get these upgraded or change to UK ones. I've got no intention of doing that because you know, I'm tempted to keep this myself in all honesty. Um, but my phone sat nav is better than pretty much any sat nav you're ever going to use. But the radio works perfectly in this one, exactly as it should. But obviously this means you can still use the cameras that are attached to the car. It's your front, rear, side, you name it, they're everywhere. I hope you can see that rear parking camera working exactly as intended. And we carry on through here. And the video just doesn't really do justice. Sometimes you get in a car and, you know, like I was, generally blown away by it. Um, and hopefully you can see 50,112 miles. It says KMH, kilometres per hour. It isn't. It is reading in miles per hour, as is the odometer, by the way, uh, which was a mess up on the last MOT. But the one before that said miles as well. But it is definitely operating in miles. And the MOT test station will confirm that as well. Right then, this is a quick road test video and for 
a rare car because it's one I've never ever driven uh, well I say before I have for the last couple of days a complete lie but prior to that never driven one this is a Toyota Alphard um, 3.5 V6 uh, registered MV58 FMU mileage just 50,113 um, by the way the reason we do our videos and especially this rotor section is to ensure that if anyone's online looking at literally any of our cars they get to see the very car advertised actually in operation uh, the reason is simple it's because you know like far too many people we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs or description uh, but only to get there and find out it's got an obvious fault that shows up when you drive the car so that's why we do it um, also done on these very quiet country roads it's a beautiful part of Gloucestershire and this actually forms part of the road test route that we take our customers on and the hope is then it'll be representative um, for you, obviously, if, if you're offered a test drive in the car. So coming to the car, um, as I say in the, um, the advert in the walk-around section, you know, these are new to us. I mean, this is one we're taking as a part exchange. Chap bought a Lexus from us. Um, so I'm not going to profess to be an expert in the models, the derivatives, that kind of thing, especially because obviously it's an imported vehicle. Um, you know, not, I get mechanical stuff and electrical stuff. That's the whole point of the video. Um, so we are imploring people. People will know this market well. They'll know this model. But just check yourself before coming to see the car or uh, purchasing it. Uh, it is exactly what you're after because you know th there's limited information that we get um, to to let help us in that sense. Um, but coming to the car, uh, engine starts instantly and settles to a smooth, even idle. I'm making an assumption, but I'm assuming it's the same 3.5 V6 they fit in the um, the Lexus GS models and RX models. It certainly sounds the same and feels the same. It's a beautiful engine, and it, I can only imagine, you know, because it's the biggest engine I think they do for this car. Um, this is the one that you'll want because it it's potent. I have to say, it, you, you put your foot down if you want to, and it flies along. Um, but it does so with that beautiful V6, sort of hushed growl, if you like. Um, it's so quiet and refined. It really is an astonishing engine. Um, by the way, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all, relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Temperature gauge is somewhere between a third and a half, which according to Google is exactly where it's meant to be. Um, I, I, astonishing power unit really really is um, engine then feeds through into the auto gearbox which you can use in sequential mode if you want to not that you'd really want to as with pretty much all Toyota automatic gearboxes the gear changes are beautifully um, smooth to the point of being you know pretty much imperceptible on the move um, and the engine like the gearbox both have a reputation for being incredibly tough and durable over very very big mileages um, Certainly, all the gear change on this one on the move you know, are exactly what you'd hope. Um, just fantastically smooth. So you just hardly feel them at all. Absolutely, incredibly smooth. So coming to the steering and the chassis of the car, you know clearly this is not a sports car. Um, it's not going to want you to chuck around B roads. But I have to say, for a car of its size, and it is a big old car. It drives really nicely. You're not gonna. It's not the car to hustle along, but the steering is direct. It's pretty accurate. It's nicely weighted. Um, it tracks dead straight. There's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. But it suits the character of the car perfectly. It's the right gearing for the chassis, so it's not going to be too quick where it's going to unsettle, but too slow where it feels slovenly. Um, and it feels as tight as a drum on the road. The car really does. Um, when you go through corners again, you know you're not getting huge amounts of body roll because you're not, you know, generally you're not going to be pushing on that hard. But the chassis is here to give you what is a, a beautifully comfortable ride. It's a car you kind of glide along into um, from, you know, country to country. I'd imagine. You can imagine taking this on, you know, one heck of a road trip and being just soothed when you come out the other end. It, the whole experience is very very refined i have to say um as i mentioned you know, we used this with the kids over the weekend they loved 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 this car but probably not as much as me um 
I like cars that are a bit quirky. I like cars that are a bit different. Um, I like cars that are limited in some ways, and this is by its size. It's you know, it's you know, it's unwieldy in some ways, but it's a car you can't help but enjoy driving. Um, it calms you down. It, you don't want to hustle it along. Um, it makes the world a rather nicer place, especially when you listen to the lady on the sat nav. Um, but also driving on no clonks, no rattles from the suspension that shouldn't be there. Um, it's just gone through an, an MOT, not before it came to us, um, with no advisories whatsoever. And Toyota serviced it, I think, less than a thousand miles ago. So it's it's been very well cared for. As you can set, tell inside, what on earth was that? That was something on the road. Um, crikey, man. Um, yeah, I mean, it's to find a car like this. I mean, the, the, the chap that part exchanged it was rightly very, very proud and showed off the car to me rather than trying to hide things or, you know, glossing over things, as can be the way, quite clearly. Uh, no, with this one, he wanted to show me everything. He wanted. He, he knew that all the operations worked, um, and they do. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's an incredible mode of transport, I have to say. Um, sitting inside here, you've got this lovely dashboard, beautifully finished, beautifully built, as is the rest of the interior. As I mentioned in the walk around video, I like the fact that the Japanese sat nav still in there. I like the fact that the lady talks to me in a soft um, Japanese, which again, just incredibly soothing. Air conditioning pumps out ice cold air, it's dual zones, you can have different temperatures side to side. You've got separate climate control functions for the rear um, compartments as well, as well as their drop down DVD, uh, rear electric, um, two sunroofs, rear electric sunroof there. Um, everything seems to work exactly as it should. Everything like, as you'd expect of a Japanese car, you press buttons and they operate things. They, they all were and work beautifully well. Um, dash binnacle is beautifully detailed and displayed with uh, a minimal amount of infra um, sort of dials, which I love. I love the fact that it's not drawing your eye there the whole time. Um, it is, it, I, I said, I have become biased within about two or three days because I simply love this car and I am and I've done this before people will know from my previous videos I don't say this lightly I am sorely sorely tempted to buy this one for myself and keep it um, I've got no reason to have it I've got a nice Toyota Hiace camper van uh, as well as my car I don't need this car at all but I want to own it and I think that's a fair statement for this vehicle it is just brilliant 